chapter six, part four. The order is for 15 milligrams per kilogram, a loading dose, and then 300 milligrams per day. For the loading dose, which means we're interested in this part, how many milligrams of this anticonvulsant would you administer to a patient who weighs 80 kilograms? All the information we need is right here. The order is 15 milligrams per kilogram, one kilogram, and then 80 kilograms is what I need of starting off with. I can put that over one. The kilograms will cancel out. So I would give, I multiply 80 times 15 and I get 1200 milligrams. So for the loading dose, which is all we're asked for, we should administer 1200 milligrams. Okay, number 17. The order is 20 milligrams per kilogram per day for three months. The patient who has Paget's disease weighs 81 kilograms. How many 400 milligrams tablets would you administer? So I'm supposed to take this information, 81 kilograms, and figure out how many tablets I'm supposed to get. Okay, so let's just go. This is milligrams per kilogram, okay? So, 81 kilograms times 20 milligrams per kilogram. I'm gonna put the kilogram in the bottom and that gives me 20 milligrams, okay? So the kilograms cancel. I have 81 times 20, which will give me 1620. Uh, milligrams. Okay. All right. So now I have the amount of milligrams I'm supposed to give. And I've used this. I've used this. How many 400 milligram tablets? Okay. So I'm supposed to give 16, 20 milligrams per day. There are 400 milligrams per tablet. Our milligrams cancel out. And then if you take 1620 and divide it by 400, you get 4.05, which we're going to round to four tablets. So let's look at number 18. The physician orders 7.5 milligrams per kilogram. If the drug strength is 250 milligrams per five milliliters, how many milliliters should be administered to a patient who weighs 70 kilograms? Okay, so let's start off with the 70 kilograms. Okay. The order is 7.5 milligrams per kilogram. Okay, so for each kilogram, which I'm putting in the bottom so it will cancel this out, I have 7.5 milligrams. Now the kilograms cancel and you multiply 70 times 7.5 to get 525 milligrams. Okay, so I'm supposed to end up with milliliters. Now I've used this information, I've used this ratio, now I need to use this. I want to convert 525 milligrams into milliliters. So I'm going to put the 250 milligrams in the bottom and that's for every five milliliters. 
Okay. So let's just, these cancel. I'm just gonna multiply straight across. 525 times five is 2625 divided by 250, and that's milliliters. If you divide that by 250, you get 10.5. Okay, now for the next few problems, we need to know what BSA is. BSA is the um, body surface area, and we have two formulas. First of all, body surface area is always me measured in meters squared. This is just the unit, it means square meters, it's um, an area unit. We have two formulas, one if our information is given to us in metric units and one if it's given to us in household units. You're gonna do the weight in kilograms times the height in centimeters. You're gonna get that value, divide it by 3,600, and then take the square root of it, which is why when I said you need to, if you need a basic calculator, you need to make sure you get one with a square root button on it, okay? Now, if it's household units, it's the weight in pounds times the height in inches divided by 3131, and then you take the square root of it. Okay, so let's look at number 19. Find the body surface area of an adult who is 183 centimeters tall and weighs 92 kilograms. Centimeters, kilograms, these are metric units, so I'm going to be using the metric formula. I'm given the weight in kilograms. I've given the height in centimeters, so I don't need to do any conversions. The body surface area is equal to, okay, the weight in kilograms, which is 92, times the height in centimeters, 183, and I'm going to divide it by 3,600, and then I'm going to take the square root of that value. Okay, so 92 times 183, 16,836 divided by 3,600, and then take the square root of that. Now it's likely we get ugly numbers here, and that's okay. We're just going to leave everything in our calculator from this point on. Divide by 3,600, and we got an ugly number. That's okay. Just leave it in your calculator right now. Don't make an estimate with it. Now I want to take the square root of that because I've just done the division. That's what gave me this. Now to take the square root of it, I simply hit the square root button and I get 2.16, so on. Okay, so this is approximately equal to, you'll need to pay attention to how exact they want your answer. In this case, they really want two decimal places. So I look at the two here. Two is less than five, so that six is going to stay the same. So it's approximately 2.16, and our units with body surface area is always meters squared. Okay, so let's do number 20. We're going to find the body surface area of a man who is 4 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 142 pounds. So here we are given um, household units which we need pounds, which we've got, but we need inches. And here we have a mixture of feet and inches. We've talked in the past about how to fix this. We'll do that. We're going to find the height in inches, and then we'll just plug it into this formula. Remember that 4 feet 10 inches means 4 feet plus 10 inches. So if I can find 4 feet, then I will add it to the number in, in inches, then I'll add that, add 10 to it. So 4 feet... I need that in inches for each one foot. There are 12 inches. The feet cancel out. So I have four times 12, which is 48 inches. Now that's just the four feet. For the four feet, 10 inches, that's going to be 48 plus 10, which is 58 inches. So 58 is the value I'm going to plug into the formula. Okay, so what do we do? We take the weight in pounds, which is 142. We're going to multiply that by the height in inches, which we said was 58. 
And then because these are household units, I'm going to divide by 3131. Okay. And then we take the square root of that. Okay, so we do 142 times 58 and get that value. We're going to divide that by 3131 and then take the square root. And remember from this point on, we're going to leave it in our calculator. So divide by 3131 and then take the square root of that. And I get about 1.6, I'm supposed to round to two decimal places. That's a one, so that stays a two. So this is approximately 1.62. Our units are always meters squared. It doesn't matter that these were household units. The formulas are have that built into it, that adjustment, that translation into it. So our units are always meters squared.